Good evening, Matanistas. A lot of you will know by now that I am in love with the British Stout or Porter and a massively favourable alternative to Guinness. It's called London Black, not so easy to find up in Manchester. Fortunately, my local stocks it, but it's come to my attention that another bar not too far away from me called Northenden Untapped also has started stocking it. So it would be remiss of me not to try it out for myself and for yourselves, Matanistas. But first of all, let's go in and check how it should be at Reasons To Be Cheerful, where they keep it very well. And it is unpleasantly cold out here today, so let's get in there. I do, Matanistas, have to be thankful that this small bar, Reasons To Be Cheerful, on Fog Lane in South Manchester, actually started stocking this. I wouldn't have come across this beer otherwise, so they've usually served me up a great pint here, and this will probably be the benchmark by which I judge Northern Dun untapped. This is on great form. Northern Dun and Tap's going to have to do pretty well to match this, but I do have high hopes based on the knowledge of other customers here who have been to that bar as well. Okay, Mutton Easters, that's just what I needed to wet my whistle. This hardly touched the sides. Let's head off to Northern Dun. I'd be very pleasantly surprised if the pint there surpasses this. Challenge! Challenge is on! Okay, Mutton Easters, a short 10 minute drive away. I've arrived in Northenden, a bit further south and west than Didsbury and Burnage, to Northenden and Tapped. We're not far from the motorway, so it's a good stop if you're on your way to somewhere. And we're not far from the River Mersey. There are some good walks to be had there along the river and by some golf courses. But tonight, the only walking I'm going to do is into the pub. Right, Metanistas, let me tell you about the range first. There are usually, I think, four kegs, a couple of lagers, a porter and a cider, to the best of my knowledge. They don't do cask anymore because the clientele don't really demand it, but I believe this bar's very popular with wine drinkers. Anyway, we're here to taste the London Black and hopefully the pizza later, and let's see if it meets the very high bar set by reasons to be cheerful. It's good, it's good. I'd say RTBC just edges it, but I'm happy to drink this here, Mutton Easters. Right, Mutton Easters, now the much vaunted pizza that I told you about at the start of the evening. Six pounds for a pizza on a Thursday night, unbeatable value, and it doesn't look too shabby at all. People who know me, and those of you who watch me regularly, would know full well I don't mess about with pizzas. I don't put tons and tons of toppings on them, and I've just gone for a simple margarita pizza with a bit of basil on the top, which was a nice touch from the pizzeria, with which the pub has a deal. Anyway, down to the table. And a pepperoni pizza has arrived as well. Lee, the patron, has kindly got us in a bonus pizza, which is just as well because a lot of hungry mutton Easters are here and they've been quaffing that London black as well. Okay, here we go. I'm not going to eat all of this myself. It's a 14-inch pizza. I'm not going to eat a whole loaf of bread by myself. Oh yeah, that's good. That is good. Very, very light based, thin and crispy, proper Neapolitan stuff. Good balance between the cheese and tomato. And I have to say, there are not actually that many foods that go well with stout and pale ales, but pizza is one of them. Anyway, Mutton Easters, I am joined by some Mutton Easters tonight and I would like to ask their opinion on 
the pizza, but most importantly, how the London Black is drinking. London Black lives up to expectations. Pizza with very good pepperoni. Keeping very well. Well, there you have it, Matanistas, Northern and Untapped. Come down here for the London Black and the pizza. I mean, I'm an incredible value for the pizza, and it is a pretty decent one as well. I'm going to have to love you and leave you folks, because I can feel a moderate session coming on here. But I hope you enjoyed this very short video. Remember to keep liking, because that moves me up the algorithm. Keep sharing. Tell your friends about me. Please hit that subscribe button. But until the next one, don't forget, you can't beat a bit of mutton.